<laughs> All right. Well, everyone, welcome. We are comparing notes on our aging pets as we enter the chapel <laughs> for our virtual evening prayer. We're glad you're here. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and let us know what's going on so we can pray for you. Um, with the uh, in the remarks and comments, you can enter your uh, prayer concerns of Thanksgiving or intercession, and we'll make sure those get prayed over. If you're doing it on Facebook, um, please follow us and enter them in on the live chat. We'll make sure they get prayed for at the end of this office. If you are uh, offering them in YouTube, we'll make sure they get prayed over at the next office, which is 9 a.m. morning prayer tomorrow. But in all things, know that we're happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. This is the end of our busy day. They are serving dinners, the community supper out behind me in the parking lot right now at uh, 505 Main Street. So come on down and get a meal if you wish after we pray, of course, and uh, know that you are most welcome. Allison is here to be the reader. I am your officiant, Father Marshall Shelley, and we are glad you are here. Evening prayer. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory. In unison, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 49 and 53. I'll offer the odd, please respond with the even. Hear this, all you peoples, give ear all inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, I will solve my riddle to the music of the harp. Why should I fear in times of trouble when the iniquity of my persecutors surrounds me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches. Truly no ransom avails for one's life. There is no price one can give to God for it. <clears throat> for the ransom of life is costly and can never suffice. That one should live on forever and never see the grave. When we look at the wise, they die. Fool and dolt perish together and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling places to all generations, though they named lands their own. Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Such is the fate of the foolhardy, the end of those who are pleased with their lot. Like sheep they are, are appointed for Sheol. Death shall be their shepherd. Straight to the grave they descend. And their forms shall waste away, Sheol shall be their home. But God will ransom my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Do not be afraid when some become rich, when the wealth of their houses increases. For when they die, they will carry nothing away. Their wealth will not go down after them. No, in their lifetime they count themselves happy. For you are praised when you do well for yourself. They will go to the company of their ancestors, who will never again see the light. 
Mortals cannot abide in their pomp. They are like the animals that perish. Fools say in their hearts, there is no God. They are corrupt. They commit abominable acts. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on humankind to see if there are any who are wise, who seek after God. They have all fallen away. They are all alike perverse. There is no one who does good. No, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon God? There they shall be in great terror, in terror such as has not been. For God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame, for God has rejected them. Oh, that deliverance for Israel would come from Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice. Israel will be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of John. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs, in the agony of giving birth. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his heads. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child, so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle was the song of Judith together. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you, but whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. Reading from Matthew. Then the disciples came and asked him, why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. To them it has not been given. For to those who have more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, you, sh you will indeed listen, but never understand, and you will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes. So that they might not look with their eyes and listen with their ears and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly, I tell you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of Christ's humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You're saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. And that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for all those who are ill. Pray for peace and grace for those who are struggling with their health and the decisions they have to make about that health. We give thanks for those who work to feed the hungry and give thanks for the volunteers who have joined us from Coca-Cola this evening to lend a hand in offering food to others at our community supper. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, folks, that uh, draws to a conclusion our busy day here at St. Peter's, and uh, we are thankful for your presence. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you're watching on Facebook, know that we are happy you are here, and uh, if you choose to follow us and get notifications of when we're live, we appreciate that as well. And all things know that you are with us in prayer, and we're happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Please do join us tomorrow for 9 a.m. morning prayer. We are in the midst of our stewardship season here at St. Peter's as well, and stewardship being the care of all God's creation, including the social networks with which we broadcast our offices. You are more than welcome to join us by going to www.stpeterspotswood.org and uh, clicking on the Give section. You can hit for a one-time donation on the website there, as well as considering making a commitment of giving for the coming year to help us with our mission and ministry. We deeply appreciate your support, both in prayer and in practice. In all things, above all, take care and God bless. Bye -bye. Thank you, Allison. Bye-bye. <laughs>